So now let's add motion to the rest of the photograph. And again, I want to show you guys the before and after so far. Um, here's the before with uh, before we made all the adjustments to the reflections and before adding spin to the wheels. And here's after. So um, what I'm going to do again, duplicate the layer and just call this one the uh, no blur and then this one blur. And in this case scenario, uh, what we're going to be using is again under filter blur gallery, but this one is going to be called a path blur. And what this tool does, it allows you to point the blur in any direction you like, and it also allows you to draw paths basically um, in any sort of shape. So in this case scenario, I would be assuming obviously that the car is moving to the left and I was, let's say, panning the camera with the car. Uh, so uh, everything would be blurring going to the left side. So what you can do is adjust this path by holding down on the little anchors here and dragging it. And you can also adjust the the sort of uh, the the shape that the blur takes the the the, the kind of the way it blurs. Um, in this case scenario, I'm just gonna put a slight curve to it. Oops, and you can add additional cur uh, anchor points as well. Just gonna slight curve just because the car is kind of turning right and it's going towards the left side of the picture. Let's see, maybe just a little bit less. And then what you can do is you can actually adjust this the, the, the amount of blur that you have on each end of the path. So uh, what's closest to me, I think I'm gonna have it's going to be a little faster than all the stuff in the distance. So I'm just going to uh, adjust the, uh, the end point speed on this to be um, just a little less. And then this one is going to be more. Again, this is very subjective, but I'm um, just doing this uh, a little bit quicker than I normally would be. Um, may just leave the speed the way it is. Um, again, you can adjust the ends, uh, end point speed, and you can adjust this in any sort of uh, direction, and you can draw any really path you want. You can actually do multiple ones as well if you click this little click on the little pinpoint here again, you can actually draw a second uh, path. You can start doing a separate blur on that. Um, I don't think for this one, maybe it's not necessary. So I'm just gonna go back um, and delete it. But let's just say I'm happy with what I see here. Uh, so I'm just gonna hit Okay. So now that we have the entire environment blurred, I want to make sure that the car is obviously still in focus. Um, because if I was doing a panning shot, um, the car would be, I would be panning with the car, meaning that the car would be in focus and everything else behind it and in front of it, stationary, would be uh, blurry. So the way I'm going to do this, uh, again, using my own technique, is I'm going to blur it out using a layer mask. So on the blur layer, I'm going to add a layer mask, use the brush tool, make sure it's on black, and I'm going to start brushing it out. So whatever is behind it, the no blur layer, it shows up. I'm not gonna worry about the edges right now because I'm just gonna adjust those. 
uh, right after I see sort of the edges on the entire car. So I don't have to be super precise right now. Okay, now what I'm going to do, just make sure that it's, okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the lasso tool and still on the blur layer on the mask, I'm just going to go slowly around the car, go, make sure I select right around the car. Just gonna show you guys a little sample and then I'm gonna speed up the video. That way it doesn't take 20 minutes just this, for this one little part. Just gonna do the front bumper. Okay, so I'm gonna select the area that so needs fixing basically. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reverse the brush to white while this is still selected and I'm gonna draw the blur back in. Just like that. Okay, so I'm gonna do the rest of the car. And again, for the sake of time, I'm just gonna speed this portion of the video up. Okay, so now that I have the, the edges of the car um, uh, masked out, um, the car itself is not blurry, but because the, um, the blur was uh, applied to the car and the background, there is still blur um, on the on the outer perimeter of the car, which I want to get rid of um, because it's just blurry on the outside of the car, not it, it, the car itself shouldn't be blurry as well on the edges. So in order to get rid of that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold command and click on the layer mask and it's going to give me the path, which uh, the path of the mask itself. And what I wanna do in this case scenario is click on the actual layer itself um, with the blur. And what I wanna do is use the clone tool. First, I wanna inverse the selection. So I wanna hit Command, Alt, Option, I, or, yeah, oops. Let's just see what's inverse. I'm not sure why it's not reversing, is it? Okay, Shift, Command, I. Um, and it should inverse the actual layer. Um, what it could be? Ah, right, there you go. Shift, Command, I, but you have to have the mask selected. Um, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clone out the, 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 the blur of the car on the outside of the car by using a clone tool. Um, so I'm just gonna sample next to the image, next to the blur. I'm just gonna take it out just like this. Whatever I see And 
you don't have to be super precise with this because again it's very blurry so you can't see you can't really screw this up you just have to keep sampling Um, command D to deselect and I think that looks pretty good well maybe not miss the front bumper area here just a little bit so deselect here you go that looks pretty good so now that we have everything blurred out in the background and the car in focus. Um, I wanna make the reflections in the car um, blurry as well because uh, they should be blurry. The car's driving by the trees, uh, therefore they should have some sort of a motion blur on them. And what I'm gonna do with this, uh, the way I do it, is I'm gonna take the windshield to start with I'm just gonna use the lasso tool again, uh, duplicate this layer, or maybe not duplicate this layer, just leave it alone. I'm just gonna draw the part that I want, let's say blurry, with the lasso tool. I'm gonna be super precise, but... Uh, just to show you guys the way I do it. Once I have the selection, I'm gonna hit Command J. Oops. I'm gonna hit Command J and make sure that I have the no blur um, uh, uh, layer selected. I'm gonna hit Command J. I'm gonna drag it to the top um, you won't see a difference now, but hit command, uh, hit command and click on the mouse to get the selection back. So now you have the windshield layer selected on its own and isolated. I'm going to go to filter, blur, motion blur, and I'm just going to add, let's just say it's going to be a, uh, Maybe like a kind of like a maybe 45 angle blur. Just gonna bump it up a little bit. Maybe not this way actually. What am I talking about? More like this. Bump it up again. Looks all right to me. Hit OK. Hit Command D, and there we got blur on the windshield. You can obviously apply the same technique to the hood as well. Not sure what happened there, but I'm not gonna fix it right now. Okay, once you have the selection, you wanna go to the no blur layer, hit Command J, and that's gonna be your blur hood. It's gonna be your blur windshield. I want to have the blur hood selected again by hitting command and clicking on the mouse and then go down to motion blur and again same angle same distance pixels and hit ok deselect you got the blur on the windshield and a hood 
And now we can apply the same technique to, let's just say one of the windows here. Cause you can see some trees and I could have really, to be honest, I could have taken these trees out as well. Uh, cause it doesn't make sense not to have them here and have them here, but just for the sake of the tutorial, I can just show you guys how to blur these again. Command J, it's gonna be the side window. Hit Command, hold Command, click, and then motion blur. And we could also do this to this part just really quickly. I mean, you should be doing every single little reflection as well, but for the sake of the tutorial, I'm not gonna go into every single little one. So repeat, side of car, motion blur, there you go. So I think we're pretty much done. So thank you guys for watching this tutorial. I hope you found it helpful. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them in the comments section. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and see you later.